Hello. Welcome back to the channel. Right, before I start, as always, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'd like to thank you all that commented on my last video, um, my thoughts on the Wren song. That's it, 5 million views now. Incredible and well, well deserved. Um, I had a lovely breakaway uh, with my wife in Scotland. What a beautiful, beautiful country. We only went to a little part of it. It was in Edinburgh. And so we went to Stirling where the castles are. And we'd done the William Wallace, you know, Braveheart. We'd done the memorial. Absolutely lovely. And we've both decided we definitely want to go back and have a little mooch about even more. Love Scotland. Beautiful part of the country. Right. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about a movie. And the strange circumstances around it. Bear with me. One by one was released in 2014 is a drama written and was the directional debut by Diane Jesse Miller. It was made by Boiling Frog Films in association with the comedy company, written in 2009 and filmed in 2011, just in 25 days on a budget, an unbelievably low budget of 25 grand. It's quite a simple story really, a cafe worker Dion played by Heather Wilson, is dating Jeff, Sean Mayer, a money-orientated policeman who wants Dion to find a better job. But Dion is happy working at the Grand Baguette, the name of the CAF, and loves the people who work and gather there, especially her co-worker Lily, played by the lovely Katrina Nair. Lily's dad, the cafe owner, Proof, is played by Steve McCallie and friends John, played by Duncan Wigman, and Ernest, played by Rick Mail. Yep. And this is how I found the film. I was searching around for stuff about Rick Mail, and this was apparently his last feature film. After a tragedy happens to one of them, Dion, with the help of her new friends, goes on an awakening to what's really going on in the world. The group discuss conspiracy theories about 9-11, the 7-7 bombings, and most importantly population reduction I won't spoil the film by going into too much detail but it's a very interesting watch now I originally saw the film on BitChute um, but I wanted to A support the artist and the quality wasn't great on BitChute anyway so I ended up renting it on Vimeo for £3.49 I'll, again I'll link that down below and this is what I did because I wanted to watch it in HD now, the movie does have an IMDb page. That does exist. But there is no wiki page, considering it's Rick Mail. It's not on Rotten Tomatoes at all. Now, the movie's on Amazon, but if you try and click on Prime, it gives you one, the movie, which was released in 2005, not the same film. And if you try and buy the DVD off Amazon, again, it gives you one, the movie. Nothing to do with this. If you look on the main page, it it looks legit, like it's a real deal. The synopsis is the same and all that lot. Now, that's strange, isn't it? The movie does have a website and also has a link to buy the DVD on eBay. I'll put both links down below. I'll probably end up buying the DVD to one by one because I really, really doubt there will be a Blu-ray release of this film anytime soon, which is it blows my mind, really, when you think about it. Um, I mean, if it did get a Blu-ray release, I would be over the moon and I would be straight up there to buy it. It's not the most polished film you'll ever see by far, but it was interesting and I thought for the budget they'd done it on, they'd done an incredible job. Now, the score, I've got to give credits to the guy who done the music in the film, Simon Norman, I do believe. Very atmospheric and very dramatic in places. There was a song in it called Stand Up by Nathan Ball. Um, love that song. Um, it reminded me of Cat Stevens or Yusef Islam as he goes by these days. Really, really catchy. And I'll link that down below with all the other links I'm going to put to this so you can see if you can find this film yourselves. Now, sadly, Rick died of a sudden heart attack. He was out jogging, apparently, he had a heart attack just five months after the film was finished. And this does my head in because. Why hasn't there been 
Why hasn't it been on Amazon Prime? Why hasn't it been on Netflix? Why hasn't the BBC picked it up? I mean, Rick Mail. Here in the UK, we love Rick Mail. Um, for those in the States, Rick Mail was Drop Dead Fred. Not my favourite Rick Mail role, but um, he was beloved over in this country, from the young ones to Black Haddies to Bottom and all the other stuff that he'd done. Rick Mail. I'm amazed that the BBC weren't biting at the bit to try and touch this film. But no. Strange. Very strange. Diane Jesse Miller herself said, um, I think it was on a radio interview, because I've been trying to find bits and pieces. Um, she said, I'm paraphrasing now, guys. I can't remember the exact quote, but it's kind of like, we all live our lives day to day and we're kind of busy and all that lot. But if this film gets into the hands of one person and it makes them stop and have a little think about what's going on, then she's done her job. It does get you thinking. And this is why the film is called One by One. Waking up people one at a time to what's really going on in the world. It's probably even more relevant today with the absolute madness that's going on in the world these days in 2022 bearing in mind this was written in 2009 a youtube reviewer called landscape detective said one by one is one of those films that will one day be recognized as a pivotal point in the awakening of humanity i think he's right the film's tagline is when the men behind the curtain run out of enemies, you're next. Thought-provoking indeed. Got me thinking, that's for sure. Um, like I said, low-budget movie, but it had a really good point to it, I thought anyway. So all the links will be down there. I'll put a trailer down there as well. So you can have a little look around, see if you can find it, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, I'll probably end up, like I said, buying the DVD just be nice to have on the shelf i would love a blu-ray release of this but after all this time i just can't see it happening but this was written in 2009 and for a 2014 movie with all the crap that's going on in the world right now with our elites so ahead of its time question everything and with that guys i'm gonna love you and leave you um I'm going to get back to doing a few vinyl plays soon. But I've been all over the place, like I explained in my last video. So, have yourselves a fantastic day. Question everything. And I'll be back with another ramble real soon. Take care, people.